Happy Halloween. I am Shibby, the open sourcer, defender of free and open source software. And I am Jen, the Firefox for an open web. Welcome to a special edition, Happy Halloween edition of the opensource.com top five articles. Coming in at number five, what software defined storage means for OpenStack. David Hurley, one of our community moderators here at opensource.com, interviews Sage Well, founder and chief architect of Ceph. Sage tells David in this interview that he started working with Ceph in 2004 as a way to solve file system metadata scaling challenges for supercomputers. Fast forward to 2012, he and his team started Ink Tank to productize Ceph and earlier this year joined Red Hat. Sage is giving a talk at the OpenStack Summit next week in Paris. Speaking of the OpenStack Summit, our very own Jason Baker, the OpenStack Cloud Editor, has magically portaled to Paris and will be attending the conference from November 3rd through the 7th. Be sure to check them out. At number four, we have Linux Computer Program Brings a Smile Where It's Least Expected. Ken Starks is the founder of a nonprofit organization known as Reglue that helps bring Linux computers to kids for free who need them. To hear Ken tell it, these kids start out disadvantaged, without enough money to own a laptop or a computer, but wind up advantaged because they are learning how to use Linux when many other kids are not. This story will bring a tear to your eye when you hear about Ricky, an autistic kid who had an amazing response to his new laptop. Ken is also a writer for the online publication False Force and has a blog where you can read about the wonderful work he's doing to spread false far and wide. I like the sound of that. A superhero joins our top five this week. Coming in at number three, Iron Man. Costume made, from the shoulder of Gi made on the shoulder of giants. I scored this great interview with Jeremy Hansen, a software engineer and web developer here at Red Hat, to uh, find out how he made his Iron Man costume for the Red Hat Halloween costume contest last year. I went into the costume play or cosplay world uh, for just a short while. Check out this article and, uh, to see how he made his costume and be sure to watch the video at the end of the post. Who will win this year, I wonder? We'll sail to see. All right, at number two, has the time come to rebrand open source? Robert Lind is the CEO of a web design firm specializing in Typo3, an open source content management solution, and is very often asked about the safety and stability of open source. He thought we were past these myths, but thinks we might not be. Is there a solution? Can open source be better branded? See what name change Robert suggests and join the on ongoing and lively conversation on the site. There's some really good comments on that so far. I saw Jim Jagowski jump in and um, good stuff. All right, coming in at number one, the magical article of the week, test drive Linux with nothing but a flash drive. Scott Nesbitt, one of our community moderators, gives readers a cool way to test drive Linux by creating a live USB. It's basically a USB flash drive that contains an operating system. He says it doesn't take much technical ability, good for all, many of us, to create one and gives us the readers a how-to in this article. All right, check out the links to all the articles in the notes below. And thanks so much for joining us on our special edition of OpenSource.com Halloween Top 5. May open source be with you. In the open web.